Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I am now going to answer question number 24 from the practice paper for the um, Cambridge IGCSE 0580. Um, this is a non-calculator paper and the, the practice papers that they put out to help uh, students to get used to the new style that's going to come in um, 2025. So question number 24 is about probability. It says, Tanya plants some seeds. The probability that a seed will produce flowers is 0 0.8. Okay. When a seed produces flowers, the probability that the flowers are red is 0 0.6 and the probability that the flowers are yellow is 0 0.3. So Tanya has a seed that produces flowers. So you've got to be a bit careful here. The seed that she has produces flowers. All right. So it's like we've skipped this step over here. Once we know that the, the, fla the, the seed produces flower, we've got to find the probability that the flowers are not red and not yellow. Okay, so you can see that the probabilities are that the probability that it's red is 0 0.6. And the probability that it's yellow is 0 0.3. Now, not red and ye not yellow means, you know, some other color, right? So we're going to find the probability that it's neither of these two so what's left is the difference between these two and one because the total probability for everything will always be one so the probability that the the um let me say o is other o stands for other the probability that it's another color is going to be one minus the probability of a red and the probability of a yellow so that's going to be one minus 0 0.6 in brackets plus 0 0.3 which is 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.9 which is 0 0.1 so the probability that the flowers are not red and not yellow 0 0.1 okay so it's, it's taking out the probability of these two so now we got to complete the tree diagram so the probability of uh, producing flowers is 0 0.8 therefore the probability of not producing flowers is 0 0.2 the probability of it being red once it produces flowers is 0 0.6, yellow 0 0.3, other colors 0 0.1. Okay, so these are the outcomes. Okay, um, so basically this, this outcome is that it produces flowers and the color is red. So it flowers with red flower. And this is it flowers with a yellow color and this is that it flowers with the other color. And this is it doesn't flower. And of course, there won't be any color then. So these are the outcomes. These are all the different outcomes that can, you can possibly have in this scenario. Then it says, find the probability that a seed is cho uh, that a seed chosen at random produces red flowers. So the seed is chosen. So first you have to go through the probability. Does it produce flowers or not? If it does produce flowers, you're going to go along this branch. And then you got to find the probability that once it produces flowers, it's going to be red. So you're going to go again along this branch now. Okay, so we need this outcome here. That's the only outcome that fits, produces flowers, which are red. Okay, so how do I find the probability of this? Well, to find the probability of a particular outcome, you multiply along the branches. Okay, you multiply along the branches. So the probability that they produce a flower and it's red is going to be 0 0.8 multiplied by 0 0.6. Again, as we know, we have a non-calculator paper. So we take this like 8 times 6, which is 48. But it's like we've multiplied by 10 and then another 10, which is like we've multiplied by 100. So we've got to divide by 100 to get it back to the right magnitude. So divide by 100 goes back two spaces. You end up with 0 0.48. So there's the answer to part two. And part three, I think, is on the next page. I'll write the answer in the answer space, as we should do. And now we're going to go on to part three. So I've got a copy of the uh, tree diagram that we produced. Okay. And now we're going to um, use this to continue the question. So it says, Tanya chooses a, a seed at random. Find the probability that the seed does not produce red flowers and does not produce yellow flowers. Okay, so... It does not produce red flowers and it does not produce yellow flowers. So we have to get rid of these two probabilities and we have to think about these two outcomes. Okay, so 
we need the outcome that it basically produces flowers okay which are other than red and yellow or it does not produce flowers at all those are the two possibilities which fit the description does not produce red flowers and does not produce yellow flowers that means it could either produce no uh, other colored flowers or it could produce no flowers at all all right in which case i have to combine these two outcomes now to find the outcome so i've got the probability that you're going to have uh, flowering with other colors plus the probability that it doesn't flower at all so when you're combining separate outcomes you add them together so i find the probability of each outcome by multiplying along the branches so this would be 0 0.8 times 0 0.1 plus because i'm combining this outcome which is just 0 0.2 okay so that's going to be 0 0.8 times 0 0.1 as i said you ignore the decimal point so it's going to give you eight and because it's like you multiply by 10 and then another 10 that's 100 you go back two spaces so it's going to be 0 0.08 plus 0 0.2 so you're going to add together the tenths, so it'll be 0 0.28. It's like 0 0.08 plus 0 0.2. You end up with 0 0.28, and there's your answer to part three. Okay, so the important point is to realize that when you want to combine separate outcomes, you add the probabilities of those outcomes together. When you want to find a particular outcome, you multiply along the branch that gives you that particular outcome. Now, part C says two seeds, two of the seeds are chosen at random, Find the probability that one produces flowers and one does not produce flowers. So we have the options, either it produces flowers or it doesn't produce flowers. That's for one seed. Now we're not concerned about the colors. We're just concerned about whether they produce flowers or not. Okay, so either it produces flowers. Okay, or it does not produce flowers. I'll call that F dash. So that's for the first seed. Now the second seed okay could have these possibilities these are all the different outcomes that you can have it could be that the the, the second seed produces flowers where it doesn't so it could be that the first seed produces flower produce flowers and then the second seed either produces flowers or doesn't if the first seed didn't produce flowers the outcomes could be that the second one produces flowers or it could not produce flowers at all so we want to find the probability that one produces flowers and one does not produce flowers so this is one producing flowers and this is one not producing flowers okay that's one outcome that fits our description this these are the outcomes both produce flowers first does and the second doesn't first doesn't and the second does and here both do not produce flowers so we need the probabilities where one of them produces and the other one doesn't so it's going to be these two outcomes that we have to consider okay those are the two outcomes we have to consider and we know the probability of um, producing flowers is 0 0.8 and not producing flowers is 0 0.2. And same with this one. It's going to be um, the same probabilities. So I want to find these outcomes. So this is going to be 0 0.8 times 0 0.2. And you'll notice this will be exactly the same. This is also 0. This is like 0 0.2 times 0 0.8, which is the same thing as saying 2 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 because they're both of two of them the same right so this gives you two times now 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 that's going to be 16 and then two spaces back again and then two times 0 0.16 is going to be 0 0.32 it's like two times 16 is 32 two spaces back again so there's the answer to part c and that concludes this question number 24 from the um, practice paper for the Cambridge IGCSC new syllabus paper two. Okay, so this is very similar to the other type of questions we had before in probability, except now we have to deal with the calculations with no calculator. All right, so other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of probability um, from the new syllabus and um, you'll find in the, pl uh, the playlist over here and specifically you'll have probability trees in this playlist and the old questions from probability from the older syllabus which will of course be very much relevant to this syllabus apart from the calculation part okay you'll find the playlists uh, for that over there thank you for watching and see you soon